Anna teaches maths to secondary school pupils. She has always loved working with children, but what hurts her is being a victim of criticism and cyberbaiting. Like when she discovers, on social media, videos of her taken in class by students to make fun of her. Daniel joined the local fire brigade because he feels he does something useful. The crowd, who disrespects his work by yelling and throwing bottles, doesn't seem to share that feeling. Maria works in a hospital. She is good at taking care of patients, but what makes her anxious is handling families who bully her into accepting special requests as she's already overloaded because of understaffing. Alex has been working at the City Hall for many years. He knows the answers to residents' questions by heart. What he cannot get used to is people raising their voice when they do not like an answer. For millions of public sector workers, Acts of aggression from the public they are serving are a part of their daily routines. Such attacks have many different faces, verbal or physical, offline or online, individual or collective. Whatever their form, they damage those ones who have to deal with them. We can support those who work for us. When you receive a service from a public authority, Remember that first and foremost you are dealing with a person and somebody who works for you. So act with respect. If you are facing aggressive behavior, trade unions are there to help. We are by your side to provide you with the support you need, be it legal, psychological or practical. Together we can draw the line. Independent trade unions gather for zero tolerance against violence. Let's end third-party violence at work.